Hello and welcome to the Thursday, April 27th, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from San Francisco, California. Today we got a quick diary from Yi Ching about the fishing sites. Yi Ching likes to hunt down those fishing sites, in particular if they affect Singapore, where he is from. In this particular case, it was a tax filing website. So it's not just here in the US, where we had, of course, just April 15th, the big tax filing deadlines. Other countries are similar effect, in particular around important dates like deadlines to file your taxes. More details in Yi Ching's diary. And of course, the reason I am here in San Francisco is the RSA conference. And today we had our annual panel about the top most dangerous attack techniques. Ed Scotus led the panel this year and we had Katie Nichols, we had Stephen Sims, Heather Mahalik and myself. The techniques we talked about was, well, first of all, Katie talked about some of the search engine optimization but also the malicious ads, the malvertising that the attackers are doing in order to trick users into installing malicious software, believing that Google or other search engines would return actually only good links, which of course is far from right in particular if attackers are willing to pay for ads in order to prioritize their malicious links. Katie also mentioned that today, MITRE added malvertising as one of the attack techniques to their attack framework. I talked about attacks against developers, something I have, of course, talked on the podcast here before, in particular things like malicious plugins or just the vulnerable software running on developers' workstations, but also code that may be running in order to infect a developer's workstation while packages are being installed. Steve Sims looked a little bit more at the technical aspects of ChatGPT, how it can be used to actually find vulnerabilities and then write exploits for them. Also, how some of the protection techniques that have been put in place for ChatGPT can be avoided by essentially just asking nicely. Heather uh, sort of moved on with the ChatGPT theme, but uh, made it more personal in terms of how can this be attacked in order to, for example, make attacks like phishing and such more uh, plausible. What she did in particular was actually attempt to pen test her son by pretending or turning a chat GPT into helping her to pretend to be a nine-year-old girl and try to social engineer her son with a prompts created by ChatGPT. One of the interesting little tidbits here was that uh, one of the sort of messages that she created with ChatGPT to appeal to kids of the age of her son actually was, according to her son, one of the best messages she ever sent him. So certainly uh, these attacks are working. And this is certainly something, well, to just spread awareness about uh, to better help people to protect themselves from attacks that use content created by systems like ChatGPT. Also, just because public chat GPT now implement some measures to make it more difficult for it to be used uh, in attacks. Well, as Steven showed, uh, they can easily be bypassed these safeguards, but also of course, um, attackers with uh, the necessary resources would be able to just train their own model in order to have unrestricted access. The panel was live streamed. It's not clear yet at what point a recording may be publicly available. If there is a recording available, I'll link to it in the show notes. Right now I'm linking to the RSA conference page about the panel, which may also, of course, then link to a respective recording. And just like last year, we used RSA to announce the new volume of our research journal. We are now up to volume three. So third year in a row that we publish this. 
Great papers as always from our graduate students. Some of these students you may have heard here on the podcast. Uh, for example, I think we talked about the paper on bookmark brugling, where I basically use browser bookmark synchronization in order to exfiltrate data. Pretty sure we also uh, talked about the doppelganger paper where job scammers are using essentially a uh, applicants for jobs in order to steal brand and also steal identifiable information from these users. So lots of interesting papers in there. As usual, we try to keep them practical, something that's applicable, just simple download, no email address, no nothing required, and link will be in the show notes. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.